right, so I'm about to head out to the grocery store and I'm going to show you how I shop for about $150 or under in the average week. I try to budget the um, $150. I can spend more, I can spend less, but I try to stay in that $150 range. So basically what I do is I make a meal plan before I head out. I pick from the dinners that the kids like. I search the sale papers and I usually shop like two or three grocery stores and then a store called Aldi's. And basically what I do is I see what who's got drinks, who has snacks, who has meat, who has chicken on sale. And I know it sounds insane to hit three grocery stores in one day, but you're in and you're out. You have a list, you have a meal plan, you get what you gotta get and you get the hell out of there. You don't browse the aisles because you'll spend more money and you make sure you have your coupons with you and that's what I do. And I try to hit them all in the same vicinity. So if I know I'm going to one town and I know there's like two or three of the stores, I try to make sure they're all in a row so I'm not wasting gas either. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit ShopRite, I'm gonna hit Stop and Chop, and then I'm gonna hit Aldi's. And then on the way home, I will stop at Dollar Tree because tomorrow is Fun Fun Friday, and I'll be doing my Dollar Tree video. So um, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Sorry for the birds, it is morning, they're loud. I'm trying to get out the front door and they're being loud. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned and you'll see how I do it. This is for a family of six. And I have three teenage boys, well, two teenage boys and the other one's 10, but my husband is like a teenager. He likes to eat. And this is how I do it. So have fun and come for the ride. So this is Aldi's and you can see the chips are like $1.49. They have all different kinds, even Pringles, but these are really good. I buy these. They're worth $1.49. And you can see they have like all different kinds of snacks and crackers and everything is really cheap like 89 cents they have goldfish goldfish are only a dollar 85 so this is just some stuff in out like the tostito chips here are only a dollar 19 cereals are really cheap they're like imitation cornflakes but they taste the same they're a dollar 49 imitation cookie crisps they're a dollar 99 Imitation Rice Krispies, they're only $1.79. Mixes are really cheap, only like 99 cents, $1.29 pricing. Tomatoes are only 99 cents for this whole big package. Okay, so I'm in Stop and Shop, and I just want to show you, this is what I keep my coupons in. Pick this up off somebody from Esty, and I have to take that everywhere I go, along with my budget envelopes. But I've been couponing for years, ever since I had children. But let's see what meat we find. This is So I just got out of Stop and Shop and I picked up one big huge pack of chicken cutlets, the fat ones, not the thin ones, but I can make a lot of stuff with that and I got that really cheap. It was on sale for $1.99 a pound. And then I got a big pack of stew meat and I'm out of breath because it's so windy and cold I ran to my car. <laughs> and then I picked up one, two, either three or four packs of thin sliced chicken cutlets, the organic ones, which I got on sale for $3.99 a pound. And um, minus my $5 off a $15 purchase and my $2 off any $5 in meat coupon, I saved $7 at the register. So my total came to $20.80. And now I'll go home and show you everything I got and that's how I feed a family for under 150 bucks with getting basically everything I need and using my stockpile for everyday items or whatever I didn't finish cooking last week because I bought on sale we can incorporate into some meals this week and um, tonight my husband's not gonna be home so I will treat the kids to um, Wendy's but that's what they like um, which it's I guess better than McDonald's and Smuggling so I'll let the kids get Wendy's but we will shop from the dollar menu anyway so um, now I'll go get gas in my car head home divide up the rest of the money that I have to put in the envelopes for the Dave Ramsey fun thing that I'm doing and uh, yeah it's nasty out I'm so cold and time to go home bye okay, so this is what I wound up with in stop and shop I picked up a pack of chicken cutlets they came up $1.99 a pound. They were on sale. A pack of 
large family pack of stew meat and three packages of the thin sliced chicken cutlets no hormones no this no that kind of stuff from stop and shop so these were on sale 3 dollars with your card this totaled 20 and change but after the five dollars and you spent on 15 coupon five dollars off and it saved two dollars off any red meat coupon I spent um, twenty dollars and eighty cents in stop and shop and then this is my Aldi's purchase um, this came to twenty one dollars and forty five cents and I got a bottle of it's like sprite it was only 79 cents my youngest son requested orange soda I hate this crap but he wanted it it's only 229 for 12 cans the tomatoes were on sale for 99 cents the limes were a quarter each cucumbers were 99 cents for two the bag of orange uh, orange the bag of red onion was only 49 cents fantastic deal uh, potato chips are always a dollar forty nine. The eggs this week they vary. This week they were a dollar eighty five, but it's cold out and I needed them, and I don't want to go out this weekend, so I just picked them up. Um, pretzel sticks are a dollar nineteen a bag. That's always their price. Um, and the white rounds they taste just like Tostitos. Um, tortilla chips they were a dollar nineteen. The corn flakes, this big box, it's 18 ounces. This week was a dollar forty-nine. The cutie oranges, you got three pounds of them. They were on sale for three ninety-nine. And three pounds of golden delicious apples were on sale for two ninety-nine a bag. So that's my produce and junk food for the weekend and some healthy stuff. Uh, and that bill was only $20. So this is how I do $150 grocery. I am going to now go through the rest of the bags from ShopRite. So this is the ShopRite. Now this one I spent $80 and change in. And um, like I said, I, I have some stuff already stockpiled in my garage. So this was just what I need for the week or what was on sale. Um, so this is what we got. So we'll start with the bread. It's always a dollar. So I always buy that. This week, Thomas was on sale for 99 cents. Picked up those, even though I have a pack in the freezer. 99 cents, you can't go wrong. And you have to try these banana ones. They are amazing. That's my new addiction. And 99 cents, yep, they're mine. And I think I had a coupon. So, these Mott's apple juices or fruit punches were on sale for $1.49, but then they had an electronic coupon, which brought one bottle down to 99 cents. But then if you bought six bottles, they gave you back $3 in what they call ShopRite like bucks. And um, it's basically a Catalina thing that prints out. And I could use it on any purchase next week. So I, by buying six of these and using the electronic coupon, plus I had a dollar off manufacturer coupon. I know I talk real fast. I'm from New York. Sorry. Um, it worked out to be like $4 and change. And then, if you minus the $3 they paid me back, I got all six of these bottles for basically a dollar. So this is what I mean by stocking up. So this is what the kids will be drinking for the next week or two. <laughs> um, a big giant bag of popcorn, it was $2 and change. A big sack of Utz potato chips, that was on sale for $3.99. I only have one of these in the video. The other two are in the garage. It's too damn cold to lug them all in, so I just plopped them there. But they were on sale three for 10, three 12 packs for $10. Can't go wrong with that. The Celeste pizzas were only 77 cents. I only bought four, I don't know why. I really should have bought more, but I'm trying to stay on that budget, but anyway. The Activia was on sale for a four pack for $1.74, and let's face it, turning 40 sucks. And I have to take this, otherwise, you know how it goes. Um, women get backed up, no fun. I also figured I would try these Fiber One bars. I am addicted to the um, Fiber One um, Cinnamon Crumb Bun one. 
It's so damn good. But this was on sale. I had a 50 cent manufacturer coupon, which doubled to a dollar. And then I had a dollar coupon on my electric one. So this worked out to be like a dollar 89 or a dollar 59, something like that. Really cheap. So that's a stock up price. Um, they had ShopRite brand vegetables on sale. I got the one with the white rice and vegetables. Uh, my mom's given me a box of shrimp scampi. So we could eat that with the shrimp scampi. Then I purchased one of these um, ones that has like, kind of reminds me of Chinese food, broccoli, sugar, peas, carrots, water, chestnut. I'm going to make like a chicken teriyaki stir fry. Picked up four of these bags of the gava deal. Um, it's an Italian pasta in case you're not Italian and don't know, but they're really good. And this was a big deal. It was only 77 cents a bag. So I bought four of them. So depending who wants to eat it that day, I'm either going to get two dinners out of it but if everybody decides to eat of it eat it all we'll get one dinner and some leftovers out of it um the mccain fries were half price this week they were on sale for a dollar um 49 unbelievable so i got the smiley ones i got the classic cut and i got these like seasoned wedges got some stouffer's mac and cheese they were on sale for a dollar 99 those are after school snacks for the kids Everything tastes better with cheese. This was on sale, $1.88. I bought two of them. I had a coupon save a dollar. So see what I mean? You start saving money. Love my coupons. These were $1.49. Then I had a manufacturer coupon for 75 cents. It doubled to $1.50. So then two of these would really only be uh, $3. And then the two. So it worked out to be $1.50 for the two. So then it was $0.75 cents each. But then I had saved a dollar electronically. So I paid a quarter for two of them. And I did that twice. Then I just got some mouthwash because I ran out. I don't know how I ran out of that in my stockpile. But that was on sale for $1.99. The planter's peanuts was on sale for, I think, two thirty-three dollars a jar. And then if I bought two, I saved a dollar. The Fab was on sale for $1.88. I do not need any laundry soap. I have about literally 30 bottles plus tabs in my garage stockpile, but it was $1.88, and then there was a dollar electronic coupon, which brought it down to $0.88. Cents. That's called a stock up. Buy it anyway, and that's why I only bought one because there was only one electronic coupon on that. And then the Fruity Pebbles, my son requested it, but they were on sale. If they request something... I leave it on my list. When I find it on sale, I pick it up. So he's been asking for this for like two weeks. It went on sale for $2.49. So I picked up his Celeste. So this is my ShopRite run. And this came to $80 and change. And oh, can't forget my Antimus. This is a New York thing. I don't know where everybody's from. But they make the best baked goods in a box. And it's a well-known company here in the East Coast. Everything was half price, which is a great deal. Because usually it's like, it's ridiculous now. But usually it's like $6.50 a box. And they were all like $2.39 or $3 and change. So I got the cheese danish and the classic crumb. So, you know, I have to have my munchies. <laughs> so this is basically what I have. And I'll be able to create a lot of meals because I picked up a lot of chicken and beef. Plus I had some beef left over from last week. And my mom's giving me two boxes of shrimp scampi. So this is how I do it. And I think I'm still under budget. I spent 80 20 40 so I think I only spend grocery budget. Not that I'm going to go blow it. But I think what I'll do is hit the Italian store on the weekend. And I'll pick up some cold cuts and some yummy Italian stuff. And this is how we do it. So everyone, thanks for watching my video. Um, please subscribe. I'll show you how I do it all. Um, and um, I inspire a lot of people. Um, I inspire some younger couples in the neighborhood on how to budget and they don't even have as many kids as I have but you cannot go in a grocery store and not have a game plan because you'll just buy everything and come home and you have nothing created out of it you have to plan your meals before you head out to the store search all the sale papers and get all your coupons together and this is how I do it so thanks for watching bye bye